picture a layer of cellophane that's half the thickness of a human hair, and that covers two tennis courts in surface area. That's your, that's your gastrointestinal membrane or barrier system. Now you put on top of that all your food and the chemicals you ingest and everything else, and you have to absorb what you would like to absorb and keep out what you would like to keep out. So that barrier system is an intelligent membrane that will try to be that selective uh, barrier to keep the good stuff in or bring the good stuff in and keep the bad stuff out. About 10 to 15% of those cells are not just barriers, they're actually the, the manufacturer for your neurotransmitters. And so these are the enteric endocrine cells. And so 10 to 15% of that giant cellophane layer produce 90% of the serotonin that gets produced in your body and over 50% of the dopamine produced in your body. At that point, you think, well, at least the brain makes 50% of its dopamine. And of course, we're wrong again. 40% of your body's dopamine gets made by your kidney tubules. And so between your kidneys and your gut, you make 90% of your dopamine. Your gut alone makes 90% of your serotonin. So you start to realize these two major transmitters that have been blamed for your anxiety and depression actually are not at all related to your brain's disease or disorder process. If you have depression or anxiety, you have a deficiency of workhorses in the gut. Well, how did that happen? Here's where the, the data out of these universities gets kind of trippy, is in recent three-dimensional imaging at the molecular level, we've been able to show that the human neurons are extending past that cellophane layer and actually listening directly to the bacteria and fungi in your gut. Wow. It bypasses your barrier system so that your brain can talk directly to bacteria. Simultaneous to that anatomical discovery, it was being discovered since 2014 that if you remove certain bacteria from the gut, those enteric endocrine cells can no longer make serotonin and dopamine. And so you're, you cannot produce the neurotransmitters and your brain cannot listen directly to the full gamut or the full ecology of a healthy ecosystem. When you take an antibiotic, you decimate that microbiome. Amazing studies coming out recently show that one course of antibiotic for an upper respiratory infection or so, sorry, okay. just dump my water, uh, upper <laughs> respiratory infection or um, something like a um, urinary tract infection, you, you grab that um, antibiotic from your doc, your chance of a major depressive episode goes up by 24% in the next 12 months and your chance of a generalized anxiety disorder developing goes up by 17%. With one, have, one round, one, one round. Of yeah. If you now go back to your doctor within that 12 month period and get a second round of antibiotics, you had your UTI treated six months ago, and now you go in for your bronchitis or sinusitis, that second course of antibiotics now raises your risk of major depression by 54% and your risk of anxiety disorder by 44%. And so we are having massive decimating effects on mood disorder through our antibiotic prescription behavior as physicians.